In this QDS video, we will add in a skip element, a marker as a skip destination, and then test it all out in preview mode. In your questionnaire design, you will sometimes need to build in conditional skip patterns so that, given certain responses, the user can skip over one or more items later in your questionnaire. In this example, we have a lead-in question regarding cigarette use. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? This particular item has a yes-no type response, as we can see in that response type box. And if we look at the response set tab, we can see what special codes are allowable. And for this item, we see that don't know and refused are enabled. When planning skips in your survey, you should always take into consideration what special codes are allowable. In our survey following that leading question, we have two additional items about using cigarettes that will not apply if the response to our leading question was not equal to yes. This is a case where we will want to add in a skip element. To add in this skip element, we're going to start out by selecting the line below where you would like to insert that skip and then go ahead and select the Skip Instruction button on that Insert Toolbar. And then you'll see that we're on the Skip Element tab and where we'll add our condition is in that If box. So we can enter if cigarette equals zero we will want to skip or if that ever smoked cigarettes is equal to refused or if it was equal to don't know, we will want to skip. Notice that you will always use variable names and numeric response codes in your if statements. You'll see there we have the variable name of CIG, the numeric code of zero for no, and to refer to special codes in any type of QDS expression, you should always use the following. To refer to don't know, you should use dot dk. For refuse to answer, dot ref. For not applicable, dot na. For skipped, dot sk. And for general missing, just a dot. Note that the missing will really only apply to a data entry application where a response on a paper survey was left blank. For that if condition, we could also simplify it as follows. We could just say if our cigarette leading question was not equal to yes or here as we mentioned using our codes not equal to one. Note that we use the caret symbol for not in QDS. Either one of these statements would work for this same skip pattern. Next, we need to tell QDS how many items we need to skip over for this example. In the branch to box, we'll tell QDS how many elements to skip over. And you can see that we can set it to skip to five elements or to skip to a marker. We're going to talk about that next, but for our example right now, we're going to set it to skip two elements. Note that every element except for comments counts, not just data elements. You can generally leave the other options at their default settings. After you select OK, you will see the skip element in your listing. Note that the skip element is orange. In some cases, you will need to skip over more than five elements, or you may anticipate that the number of elements to be skipped may change during the course of survey development. In these cases, you will want to add a marker for your skip destination. For our example, we have now added more questions about cigarette smoking that will need to be skipped when our lead-in question was not equal to yes. Since this is more than five elements, we will need to change the skip to a marker destination. 
First, you want to add your marker element and select the line below the point where you would like to insert it. And then you'll go to that Insert Toolbar again and select the Marker option. And in the Marker box, you can enter the name that you would like to use. For this example, we'll use NSIG to indicate it's the end of the cigarette section. If you like, you can also add a description in the description box, but that is optional and only for internal use. After you click OK, you'll see the marker in your listing as the destination. Note that the marker element is aqua in color. Next, we need to change that destination to the marker in our skip element. So we'll go ahead and highlight and open it. And then in that branch to box, we will go down and from the drop down, select the last option, which is marker. In that marker box, go ahead and add the name. This is where it's good if you enter something that makes sense so it's easy to remember and put that in. Another option you may wish to change is the name of the item ID. These are customized identifiers attached to skip, edit, information, header, or format elements. They are updated automatically with a unique ID whenever you validate your questionnaire. However, you can also enter your own customized ID, such as for this, we'll enter skip SIG, and keep in mind that these item IDs are included in the codebook. After you select OK, you will see that the skip has been updated in your element listing. To test if the skip is working correctly, we can use the preview feature. We'll select the elements all around our new cigarette section, and then we'll go to Tools and We'll go ahead and get ready to select Run Preview. Note that to learn more about using the preview feature, see that tutorial video. The CAPI screen will open to the first element we have highlighted, and this is that ever smoked question. So we want to test out our different skip conditions. So if we select the response of No, we will skip over the rest of that cigarette question, which was the uh, thank you screen at the end of our survey. So we'll use previous question to go back and we'll try out our condition of don't know. And we confirm that we also skip. And the same thing with that refused response. Now we'll try out selecting yes. And now we see that we are going to those other questions in our cigarette section. And we can go and enter our responses for those. And until we once again complete that section, that was the end of our preview. That's it for this video, but to learn how to add additional types of questions, responses, or skips, see QDS Online Help or other Design Studio videos.